So it is just me realizing that mm -mm, these things, the way they are going, it's not, um, it's not the, uh, it's not taking us anywhere. It's not taking us anywhere. The Alebuele Rapo agenda, I strongly believe that mm, it can't work. The Alebuele Rapo agenda can't work. And I've got my own reason, reasons for, for, for that. I've got my own reasons why I'm saying the Alebo de la Poa agenda cannot work. Yes, it's me who started the, the Alebo de la Poa agenda. Other people want to claim it, but come on, you can, you, can, you can claim it and whatever, but the fact still remains that I started the Alebo de la Poa agenda. And I am sorry today I'm coming to you, I'm telling you to say, I am not for that idea. I'm not for that agenda of Alebo de la Poa. For a number of reasons. Mostly it is that it is, cannot work. I have just changed my mind. It is not inconsistent. It is realizing that mm -mm, this cannot work. If you realize that something cannot work, please. I mean, you are right to change your mind. You are right to change your mind. Some of you, if, in, if even in marriage, you can be able to change your mind. What about in, in politics? Yes, I had this agenda. I really believed that it would actually work. I really believe that it would actually work. But I've realized after reflecting so much about a number of issues, I've come to realize mm -mm, a labor de rapport will not work. A labor de rapport agenda will not work. And now, let me give you some of the reasons. I'll take you back. And this, I must emphasize, it is not being malicious to present that kind to present Edgar Lungu. And really, I just want you to look at it as some of the weaknesses that I've identified. Some of the weaknesses that I've identified, which are making Alewe Rapo, you know, uh, something that cannot work. And if you go back, if you go back in PF, PF was in, in opposition for about 10 years under Vasata. It was in, in Basata, if you look at Basata, Basata was a well-known person, well-known person, a very a successful politician, if I could put it that way. He was successful. He was, he was, a, he was a, a mayor, you know, he did so much, he built the, the, the flyover bridge, and he was known. I remember those days I was young, my father used to adore Sata. He used to adore Sata. When he was as a mayor, from there, Sata became, you know, a, a, a minister. When, whichever position, whichever ministry Sata was sent to, he performed. Even as a minister of Wopanda and Chito, as he used to call himself, minister without portfolio, Sata performed. Sata was the secretary general of, of a mighty MMD. Sata, was, he was a proper, he was, I mean, a successful secretary general of the, of the ruling party, MMD. And he started preparing himself for presidency. Unfortunately, it didn't go to him. It went to Mwanawasa. That's when he formed PF. And he struggled with PF until 2011 when they won an election. 2011, 10 years the point I'm trying to make to you is that he is a successful, aggressive, strong character, a motivator, an inspiration. Sata, he had to go through 10 years for him to be accepted to become president. 10 years for him to be, to be accepted to be, to be president. And then... When Sata was, was president, if you look at uh, uh, ba, ba, ba Edgar Chagwalungu, ba Edgar Chagwalungu was little known, little known, really, little known. Not much was known, and at one point, I mean, not that he's a, he's a bad man, a good man, a good man, a quiet man, during the time of... Uh, of, uh, of, of, of UPND, of PF tenure, you know, Masata was kind of favoring him, 
favoring him, favoring him, and other people started rising against him. He went on ZNBC, he was asked a question, do you want to become a, would you want to become a president? He said, me, I don't even want to become a president. I don't even want to become a president. He totally refused, I can't become a president, I don't want to become a president. Then, Sata died. But even before Sata died, even before Sata died, when Sata was going, Sata left Edgar Chagwalungu with, you know, the acting position. He was acting. If you look at it, if you think about it critically, do you think Sata really left Edgar Chagwalungu because, I mean, he strongly believed that he should be the one to take over? I don't think so. I don't think so. Truth be told, I don't think so. Vasata left the powers to Edgar Chagwalungu because he was sick and he knew that he was going to stay maybe longer. And he didn't want to leave somebody who had that ambition, who had shown the desire to become president. Vasata left that, the, the instrument of power with Edgar Lungu because he didn't pose a threat. He didn't pose a threat. That's why he left powers to Kuliba Edgar Lungu. He didn't pose a threat. And of course, when Vasata died, what happened? Guy Scott na, uh, with the other guys, they went and told Edgar Lungu, Iwe, give us power. Did Edgar Lungu fight at all? No. He straight away gave it to them. He straight away gave it to them. You can talk about constitution and whatever, whatever, but come on, this is politics. This is politics. Now I have power. Now I have power. And some people just come and say, give it to us. He just gave it just like that. He just gave it and went away. I'm talking about the character. The character. You know, I'm building on to show you the character of Edgar Chagwalungu. Not insulting him, but this is his character. Not a fighting spirit, not a fighting person, no. He had the instrument of power. Imagine if that was Bakabimba. If that power, instrument of power was left to Bakabimba. Do you think Bagai Scott would have gotten that, would have gotten it? He wouldn't have. If power, that power was left to GBM, do you think they would have gotten it? If they wouldn't have. If that power was left to Kuriba, ba, 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 ba Chimba Kambuidi, you think he, a guy Scott would have gotten it? They wouldn't. If that power, let's imagine now, if that power was left with Haka in the Hichinema, imagine Haka in the Hichinema was UP, was PF at that point, and Sata left in power. Do you think I mean, a guy Scott would have gotten that power. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't have gotten it. But Edgar Lungu just gave it. He just gave it. Who fought for that power to come back? It is Benawid in Sanda and the other people are Mu PF. Respecting Sata. Let's be honest. Truth be told. The people that rose and, chant and chanted that Edgar Lungu should get power. They didn't do it for Edgar. They did it for the respect that they have, that they had in Sata. It was the respect Sata is gone. Sata left the power of instrument with this guy. It is not Edgar Lungu that they admired. It is not Edgar Lungu's leadership that they admired. No. It is the respect that they had for Sata, that they chanted, let's give it back to Edgar Chagwalungu. Did Edgar Lungu himself fight? No. And then Arabi came in. Arabi came in and strengthened by Edgar Chagwalungu. Arabi came in and strengthened by Edgar Chagwalungu. Had, had Arabi not come in, it would have been difficult. But Arabi came in and helped Walungu to become president. Now, we had elections on the 20th of January, 20th, 20th of January 20, 2015. How many votes did Edgar Chagwalungu get to beat 
eh, to beat uh, uh, to beat to beat HH. It was about eight hundred some eight hundred and the eight hundred chakut. Ahaka in the had seven hundred and seventy chakut. The difference was basically was basically 27,000 27, votes. The difference was basically 27,000 votes. That was the difference between Edgar Chagalungu, whose party was in power, PF was in power, PF was in power. The only thing, the only votes that he got, they were 27,000 votes. That was, that's what separated them. With Haka in the who was in opposition, who was in opposition? And when Edgar Chagalungu became president, when he became president in 2015, how was his leadership? President Edgar Chagalungu, with due respect, you could see that he was not in full control of government. He was not in full control of government. And myself, I remember very well, I was criticizing Edgar Chagwalungu for being too weak. I was criticizing him. I said, this president is too weak. And other people were telling me, no, no, Edgar Chagwalungu, it's because he, you know, is going to have an election next year. So he doesn't want to uh, 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 rattle his friends. He wants to keep them. You will see after he wins a full team. That's what you are saying. You remember that? You are saying, no, 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 this man is not weak. Just give him time. When he comes back, you will see. When you have a full term, he's just finishing this term here at Asata. And he knows that next year there will be elections. So that's why he's being soft to his friends. What happened? He came, 2016 elections came. He, Edgar Lungu was fully in charge. He was a president, voted president with an instrument of power. With everything, all the state machinery behind him, all the state machinery behind him, having had laid the country for about one year, six months, how many votes did he get? What was the difference between Ed Basata or Haka Inde Ichirema and Ed Galungu? What, were, what was the difference? It was only 100,000 votes. Only 100,000 votes. With all the state machinery behind him. With all the state machinery behind him. I must tell you, if you, if you, don't, if you don't realize, as a person that is in charge, and you have only been in power for one year, six months, if you are a performer, you would not beat your opponent by, 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 by 100,000 votes. You would not. You would not. You would have done better. He would have done better. Unfortunately, that's what, those are the results that, uh, that, that he got. Those are results that he got. Came 2021, what happened? With all the instrument of power, with him and everything, all the state machinery, everything at his disposal, everything at his disposal, with cadres beating people, what Everything was in his hands. Everything was in, hands, in his hands. What happened in 2021? He was wired by one million votes. One million votes. One million votes. He was wired. How did that happen? How did that happen? The man was in state house. The man was the, the commander in chief. The man was was in charge of the police. The man was in charge of uh, ECZ. Everything, everything was in his hands. Everything. But an opposition came and wired him with one million votes. One million votes. Now, we have this person. I'm talking about, you see, I'm, I'm, I've run you through the leadership of uh, by Edgar Chagwalungu. I've run you through the leadership of Edgar Chagwalungu. And his character. 
his character. If you look at the character, even when, when he, uh, he was president, because I was saying that in 2015, you were saying, no, let him, uh, let him have a full term. You will see what he will do. Did we see that between 2016 and 2021? Did we see Edgar Lungu being in charge of government? Did we? Let's be honest. Edgar Lungu's government was the most abused government. Not by himself, but by so many people. So many people did a lot of things in the name of the presidency. Without even him knowing. So many things, so many things were done. So many things were done in the name of Edgar Chagwalungu. I'm sorry. For me, that is a serious weakness. That is a serious weakness. We had conflicts. Did you see Edgar Chagwalungu confronting anyone? Did you see? Edgar Chagwalungu, did you see Edgar Chagwalungu confronting anyone? Just in 2015, they had a conflict between himself and the GBM. What happened? Did Edgar Chagwalungu confront GBM to say, Iwe, come, let us work together, and so on and so forth? Did he? Because GBM at that time, at that, at that point, he was a heavyweight. He was a heavyweight, especially in Wapula and northern part of Zambia. He was a heavyweight. And if uh, 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 Edgar Chagwalungu was politically strategic, politically astute, with a character, he would have not let the GBM to go to, to, to Aka in the HDM. But he, he couldn't confront the GBM. He couldn't confront the GBM. And the GBM ended up going to Aka in the HDM. And that is how UPND got so popular in the northern part. GBM did if you don't definitely could not in part of Zambia. He did if you don't. He took votes to Haka in the HDM. What about Haka in the HDM? Do you think Haka in the HDM was friends with GBM? Do you think they agreed? No, they didn't. They didn't. But because of politics, GBM uh, uh, Haka in the HDM brought GBM close and made him vice president. Whilst Edgar Lungu left GBM. That's how they survived that election. They would have lost it. 2016, it was the same situation. Bakambuidi. Truth be told, Bakambuidi. is a political giant. He's a political giant. They have started having, having differences. Did Bakambuidi, did, did, did Edgar Lungu confront Bakambuidi? No, he didn't. He only fired him quietly without confronting him. Without confronting him. Because Vahed Galungu is not a confrontational person. He's not a confrontational person. He doesn't confront people. He just fired Vakambuidi. Vakambuidi, what did Vakambuidi do? He went and formed NDC. NDC, they went to Kabushi. Vakambuidi walloped PF. Walloped PF. Then you have a number of these back and forth, back and forth with people, Hari Kalaba, for example. Eh? Hari Kalaba. They had serious issues between Hari Kalaba and Vahed Galung. And Hari Kalaba ended up resigning. And up to today, he boasts of having had resigned. But they had issues. Did Vahed Galung confront Kalaba? No. In a panon, the land. Let me tell you. In a panon, the land. Me, who is talking? You, people who are busy. Whatever, whatever. Me, I used to talk with my Edgar Lungu. We used to talk so often, almost on a daily basis. I'll tell you that. Almost on a daily basis, we used to talk. I'm revealing this. Almost on a daily basis. So, even some of you are saying, Hey, but Edgar, but Edgar, then me ever. Me, I used to talk. We used to talk almost on a daily basis. We used to talk. But I've taken this position. I've taken this position. Trust me, a leader who has a foresight, a leader who knows what he wants, a leader who is fighting, he would have called me. He would 
have called me here. What's going on? Come back here. Come, we talk. Not with Edgar. Not with Edgar. No. But here I am. I was running. I was the one who was in front. Running the Alewe Rapo issue. Running the Alewe Rapo agenda. A lot of you have been crying. You have been phoning me. You have been sending me messages. I do recognize, I do appreciate that. But Imwenga Mulen Tumina, what about Tumine Wachila? Imwe Mulen Tumina phone. You people, you are calling me, complaining, please. But I heard you have moved this thing. You have moved this thing. You have moved this thing. You are the ones calling me. We shall move our Kateka. Eh? Umuine on a Fukuaka Teka. You should be able to fight for this. Trust me. You should be able to fight for this. He should be able to fight for this. He should be able to recognize to say, Uyu Muntu, he has his own influence. And that is a fact. That is a fact. Whether you like it or not, I have this influence. Apamuleta, but look at the statistics. Look at the statistics. Look at how many people are watching me tonight. How many people? Apam pepeka na fena wabadi. Because even na wabadi nga waisa pa social media. He doesn't, com he doesn't command the influence and the, the, the following that I do, that I, that I get. So really, if you want to be president, if you want to be president, hello, you don't let such a person uh, just walk away, especially a person who was right in your, in your arms. You call that person. No, 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 no. Come, come, come. What is it? Eh? No. But you remain quiet. You remain quiet. So, what I'm talking about, that is not a character of leadership. I want to tell you, even Mundubire phoned me. Mundubire phoned me this morning. He phoned me, ah, no, Bechawajan. But I just told him, I said, hello, Buana, wake up. If you want to remain in the dark, stay there. Me, I am out. I told him, Mundubire, so. I told him, if you want to, Mundubire is a nice man. He's a nice man and whatever, whatever. But really, <laughs> he, he must also wake up. He must also wake up. Just like other PF members must also wake up. They, you must wake up. Ed Galungu cannot win you an election. Ed Galungu cannot get power from Haka in the H&M. I've discussed all these things. I've given you this character of uh, 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 Ed Gachagwalungu. Do you think this is a character that will stand toe to toe with the Haka in the Ichinim? Eh? If he can't even confront people that are within himself, he can't confront them. Do you think he's going to confront uh, 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 Haka in the Ichinim? Because, you know, look at Vasata. Look at Vasata na Mwanawasa. Vasata used to confront Mwanawasa. Basata forced the church to bring them together. He used to force, he used to confront him. He used to talk to Mwanawasa from wherever he was. He used to, 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 to talk. He was courageous to mention Mwanawasa. He was courageous to even call him names. Until they had to come together. What about a church? HH, how long has he been in opposition? Look at Edgar Chagwalungu, how he used to confront Edgar Chagwalungu. He used to confront him, he used to confront him big time. It is no joke. Edgar Chagwalungu, do you see him, even like a poko, do you see him confronting them? That day when they were, when they were cutting the gate, they were cutting the gate. He was inside. We were there. I was there. Eh? It took me and uh, Make Bizulu and uh, 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 that guy, Bukari, to say, no, 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 boss, amen, amen. Bambi, no, 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 don't go. But look how long it took before him came out. He was inside. How long did it take? I want to buy the But it... You are inside now, Ikara. And you, and you think you can get presidency? You think he can get presidency from Waka in the Ichinema? He 
it, how long did it take for him to come out? And indeed, when he came out, everything was sorted out. Everything was sorted out. If he had not come out, they would have cut that gate. And it was me. I was there pushing him. Go out, go out, go out. Go out, go out. And that's how he went out. Look. Uh, what is this? They have been harassing him left, right and center. Have you heard that kind of uh, Ed Galungu coming out? Have you heard Ed Galungu coming out? Look at what happened to, to uh, this man from Kenya. This man from Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta, once they went to his house, they went to the, to the, to the, to the, to the mother. He came out, gun blazing, facing them. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Is that the character that can get presidency from Haka in the Haka in the After suffering all these years in opposition. After suffering all these years in opposition. You think you come and give power to a person. You are inside. Let's talk. I must tell you, I was one of those people that insisted that let him come out, let him say something, let's have a press conference. Zuman, for example, I'm not going to talk about, about Zuman case much, but when Zuman was arrested and the, the, the issues and wherever it was going, it was pointing to Edgar Chagwalung. It was pointing to Edgar Chagwalung. In, I pushed, I even discussed this with Iba Edgar Lungu. I discussed, I was pushing. Say something, come out, say something. Nothing. He couldn't. The only thing that happened, I was sitting here, only to hear, no, there is a press conference. Uh -uh. I was hoping it was him. I was excited it was him. Only to see, it is my beautiful Tasira crying before the media. Who does that? Do you think you will come here, harass my children, harass my wife, and I let my, my, my daughter to come and to start, to, to start talking for me and for my wife and for the family? Who does that? Who does that, Imwe? Let's be honest. Who does that? You are a father. You are there. You let a child to be speaking. Eh? Who does that? If you cannot stand for your family, how can you stand for the nation? How can you stand for the nation? How can you stand for all these people? It is not my only issue is that he's not a fighter. He's not a fighter, and you can't force him to fight. This is what I've realized myself. This is the realization. So offensive and that no, no, you have been paid. Uh-uh. I have realized that this is not a person that can fight, and you can't force him to fight. It is not his in nature. It is not his in nature. I was disappointed. That day, I was very disappointed. I went there, actually. I went, and I, it's not that I have not expressed these things I'm telling you. I have expressed to him directly. Sometimes, to and I express these issues. I express myself to say, how could Tasira be the one to be talking? You should have been the one talking. Why should be Tasira and the daughter be talking when you, the father, you are there? Why? And indeed, I said it, I said this, that at the rate at which we are going, I said it, I said it, I told them, in the house, I told them, that at the rate at which we are going, I said it, it was coming, I said it. I knew that case was not over. I knew that case was not over. I knew that this case, you have a purpose. It will come back. You need to prepare. When they will come back, you need to prepare. And indeed, they came back. And what did they do? My Esther was inside. Just like I had said it. I said it. And just like I said, I will 
Bad indeed. I said it. I, of course, I can't discuss in details what I said and whatever. But basically, just generally, I'm, I'm talking about the character. And even there, Mdara, who were talking, he was just there sitting with other people coming quite in Pachiriro. No. He should have spoken there. He didn't speak. I am glad at least, okay, at least he, he refused to go. That is one thing that I appreciate. But even talking, he's a politician. He's a politician. He should be able to come out and talk. The attention was on him. A politician, if the attention is on you, you would be shooting yourself in the foot if you don't talk. You have to talk. You have to talk, especially when your friends create an opportunity for you. Use it. Nothing up to today, he has said nothing about that. He has said nothing. My politics, sire. My politics. And that case, <laughs> let me not let me not even discuss the details of it. Let me not go into that case. But surely that case requires a man to stand up, a man to show character. Not what is currently going. Next Vakatampokuya Kuma quote. Like the way I go Kuma in. Like anybody else. They will be going Kuma Kot like anybody else. Before you know it. Before you know it. Vamayo will be convicted. Before you know it, Vamayo will be convicted. At the rate at which we are going. At the rate at which we are going. Before you know it, Vamayo will be convicted. In the name of It needs character. It needs character. It needs character. That case needs character. Va Edgar Lungu. Now, if all these things that I'm telling you, how can you talk? How can you even think that he will confront Haka in the Ichilema to get power from Haka in the Ichilema? Do you know what that means? Haka in the Ichilema handing over power to Edgar Chagwalungu. He can even hand over power to me than to Edgar Chagwalungu. I, I can assure you that. He can even, he can, he would even rather hand over power to me or anybody else than Hakain, than Edgar Chagwalungu. There, there is serious field. Hakain De Ichilema is doing that, putting on my own muscles. He knows that if I also lose power, this is possible. He knows. He knows, he knows that if he loses power, he can go to jail. And he knows one person who will, who will definitely take him to jail. It's the Edgar Chagwalungu. There is no doubt in him, the mind of Waka in the Ichirema. He doesn't doubt it. He knows it. That if Edgar Chagwalungu would come back, he knows he's going to jail. He knows he's going to have the worst than what he had when he was accused of treason. He knows that. So him who could turn down can't go any more. PF. Now he's more valid. More valid than that. More valid than to phone. You think he can do that? How can he do it? It is not that it is impossible. It can be done, but it can never be done in the manner that Wa Wa Edgar Chagwalungu is carrying himself. It can never be done. It can never be done. Dara, it can't. Ah, patterns. It can never be done. Just for him to be on the ballot, just for H H Edgar Chagorungu to be on the ballot, Kukawa can do. Kukawa can do. Just for him to be on the ballot. Next, even if he's on the ballot, Mwamu Perama vote a winner. Haka in the to give power. Hey, him. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mulalanda. No, Edgar Rungu, Edgar Rungu, he had no choice. To give it is because of his character, it is because of the character, the good character of Edgar Chagwalungu, that he even went and and stood in the stadium and the people booing him. You think you can boo Akai de Ichema? You think Akai de Ichema would allow that? Come on, come on, <laughs> just just look at the man, <laughs> look at Akai de Ichema. <laughs> Look at that kind of Ichirema. You think that kind of Ichirema? Those are, those are characters. Eh? 
And that will just go, give power. Eh? And the next minute is being arrested and whatever, whatever, tear gas being thrown all over. All over. You think he can do that? <laughs> yeah. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time looking at Edgar Chagwalungu. He can't, he doesn't have it in him. He doesn't have it in him. At least he would have even fought for his family. Just for his family, at least he would have fought. If he's failing to fight for his family, can he fight for the country? Eh? No. I mean, Mule Muimpata, don't hate me for telling you the truth. And this, I was thinking that, no, he can do it. But then, interacting with him and whatever, whatever, mm -mm, I've realized, no. This man, no matter how much I try to push him, at the end of the day, this man will not succeed. And I want to tell you that even some of the people that are around Edgar Chagolungu, they know, some of them know that this cannot happen. But they are cowards. They are cowards. They don't want to face him. They don't want to tell him the truth. They don't want to tell him the truth. Others are waiting that when the money will start coming, they will make money. I've had people who have, who I know, I can't, I can't mention who they are, but I have people who have said, no, you know, we will have money. We will have money. But I don't operate like that. I don't operate like that. I don't care how much money Edgar Lungu has. I don't know how, I don't care how much money will come in tomorrow. But if I believe that this man cannot do it, there is no way I'm going to sit there and just waiting. I would have done it. I would have done it. There are people who have told me, you, this man has money. Just hanging there, sticking there. When the, when the campaign start coming out, there will be money that will come. There are people who have told me. They are around him there. They have told me this. Just stick around. Money will start coming out. If this man has money. I don't operate like that. I don't operate like that. It doesn't. I don't care. Even if there is money, me, I will tell you the truth. That's how I operate. Even if, yes, Edgar Lungo was not giving me money. But even if he was giving me money, looking at what I have seen, I would have told him to say, uh-uh, no. You can't manage it. I would have told him. You know, pushing a man like that one, he might, he might end up dying. He might end up dying. He, it is not in him. I don't know. I don't know if he has even entered Maseos. But Mdala, Haka inde will stop at nothing. We will stop at nothing. And then there are those people who are also thinking that no, there can be a revolution. People will rise up because of Mtego Yavunga. People will go to the streets and whatever, whatever. Learn from Malawi. Next door. How many times have people rioted because of the commodities, high, high prices of commodities? How many times? Has Chagwera left? He is still there. He's still there. And he compare Chagwera and Haka in the Ichirim. Who is stronger? Who has got a stronger character between Chagwera and Haka in the Ichirim? So in Haka in the Ichirim, I will just hear people say, going in the street, whoa, 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 whoa. And you say, here is power. Give it to Edgar Lungu. You think that will happen? Even in 1990, 1991, it didn't happen like that. It didn't happen like that. Kaunda was not removed, did not go because of the riots. No. We had an election nicely and Kaunda didn't just believe that Zambians didn't want him at that point. It is not the, the, the prices of whatever, whatever, which forced by Kaunda. No. It is the overconfidence of Kaunda which made him to say, let's go for elections. Let's go for elections so that you see by each that's what he was saying. So that you see by Chen Kamilibula. And to his shock, he lost the elections. He couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. 
So don't expect that in Zambia there can be a revolution or there can be this coup because others are even talking about coups. Forget it, not in Zambia. That is not part of us. We know the ballot. You will hear even people they are saying, nah, we are upset, hey, but we are waiting. Time for us to talk, we will come. We will go and talk, we will go and talk. They talk in the ballot. They don't talk uh, uh, through any other means. That is Zambian. So, that to happen, to change, if they have to change any uh, change of government, it's in 2026. And in 2026, for uh, Edgar Chagwadungu to be on the ballot, the PF, they can you be able to do it. They can you be able to And you have even seen, there are even examples. There are even examples. Where is Vamalanji? Where is Vamalanji with all his money? With all his support, Vamalanji has support. Vamalanji, wala wa pepa kukwacha. Ni wale sa Vamalanji. He's a god in kwacha. Where is he? Where is he in kwacha? Where is he, Vamalanji? What crime did Vamalanji commit? What happened? What did the court say? You saw ECZ issuing statements which they are not supposed to issue. Making fake laws, making fast, fake discrimina di 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 discrimination, just to bar Vamalanji na boma. Vamalanji presented them a paper. I have a canina. I wait to a cana. Number by Edgar Chagalungo Vacasumina. Oh, Vacasumina. One thing is that once HH says something. <laughs> Be rest assured, he is going that direction. And this is something that I've, uh, uh, <laughs> I've, I've liked, not, not in a positive way, but at least he says it. Hakainde Ichinema says it. This is the direction I'm going. It's up to you to take it or leave it. He doesn't, I mean, he was very sure, even when he was opening parliament, he said it. If we want to prosecute and persecute you, he didn't hide. That sometimes I will even persecute you. He didn't hide. And it's the truth. That's Haka in the Ichirema. That's Haka in the Ichirema. So I had Gachagorungu. Whether the law says this and whatever, whatever, Haka in the Ichirema is ruling. Haka in the Ichirema is in charge. And one person that he will not accept, like he has been saying it, he is saying it. Haka Werelepo, Akekara Pesa, Kuisa, Akale Tupuma. Hey. It won't happen. It won't happen, guys. It won't. You need Jesus Christ. I don't know. Even Jesus Christ could tell me I'm done. Could tell me I'm done. Anyway, Kabioko. If you have this, Jesus saw. I saw. I saw. We pick up where the galungu. Could tell me where the guy in the chair. Ma, Jesus. Hey, I am mano aleta. Te ya panwa. Mano ya kuheven. We kila mo. Ine am leading Zambia. You kabioko kat diri ngi ko nefia ko nefia ko heven. Everyone can move over. So Jesus Christ, who can move over? Papa, you want me to do that? Can you not move over? In a panel, in the punch too. So let's just be serious, guys. Forget. And this is not speaking for Baka in the history. Ma, it's not that I am endorsing his behavior. No, I am just being realistic. I'm just being realistic. I'm just being realistic. I'm just opening your eyes to see things as they are. You may not like it. You may call me whatever it is, but this is the reality. This is the reality. This is the reality. Ted Fiwombe Mdala. Ted Fiwombe. And you know, I was telling, and you know, some people now are, are coming out to say, um, um, I, 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 like I've betrayed Edgar Chagwadungu, whatever, whatever. Some of you, you are coming out like I've betrayed Edgar Chagwadungu. And I know even my Edgar Lungu might feel like that. But I want you to know that if there is a person that you should appreciate, it's me. If there is a person, even those people that you are eating with, those people that you are eating with, those people that you are chilling with, I can assure you, much as this information, what I'm saying here, seem, is seemingly bad. I want to tell you, 
that I am a better person. I am a better person than those people that are around you. Because these people have actually been scheming from a long time. From a long time. After he lost power, what did he do? He went and resigned. He went and resigned. And there were people who were pushing that agenda to say, Ed Galungu is God. Ed Galungu is God. Ed Galungu is God. But what Ed Galungu did realize to say, mm, I think I've made a mistake. He did realize. He did realize that he made a mistake to, to resign. But he knows he wrote a letter to, to cabinet. So he has stayed quiet. He has stayed quiet. Much as he wants, let no one call me here and start saying, no, no, no. Let no one call. Let no one call on that, on that issue. That's all I can tell you. He would have issued a statement. He should have issued a, a statement. Yes, he has been saying it in public. Uh, he went to Chipata, he said this. He went to, uh, there was, he was also interviewed. He said the same thing. No, I don't want and whatever, whatever, whatever. That is a smoke screen. That is a smoke screen. I want to tell you this. That is a smoke screen. That is a smoke screen. And coward is at the same time. Because really, a person who is courageous, you're supposed to face it to say, yeah, this is my position. But, but Edgar Chagolungu realized that, say, ah, I shouldn't have resigned. Meanwhile, Kupiefu, they were excited. They wanted to take over. They wanted to take over. They started pushing the agenda of replacing him. They wanted to push the agenda of replacing him. But some of us, we realized why Edgar Lungu is still interested. We realized and we fought to push away some of those people who had that agenda. In a, I pushed some of those agenda. I even attacked certain people. I even attacked them. Not because my Edgar Lungu told, told me to attack this one and that. No. But because I knew his interest. I knew his interest. And I went out for those people to make sure... That, you know, that machination stops. This is why today you can't talk about this general conference that you talk about. How do you think that general conference was, was put on ice? How do you think that was put on ice? Eh? How do you think it was put on ice? And who was pushing the agenda for that? Who was pushing the agenda? But we managed to stop it. Members of parliament today, members of parliament today, I mean, I, I was seeing, this is what I confronted the Mundu I, I, I can say this. Members of parliament are divided. Members of parliament contributed money for that convention to change the constitution, for the constitutional convention. They contributed money. But it, everything is on ice. Everything is on ice. And I'm sorry, Bamundubile, I have to say this. Bamundubile is a gentleman. He was calling me, trying to convince me otherwise. But, I mean, Iwam Dara, do you even know that they want to remove you? They want to remove you. I saw it in that uh, Kalemba. Kalemba wrote a story of how they want to change the structures and so on and so forth and whatever, whatever. And they want to remove him as a, as a leader of opposition. They want to remove him. Why? Because, I mean, they are seeing him as a as a, as a threat. They want, they're seeing him as a threat. And yet this man, I mean, this is a man that has been so loyal to Edgar Chagalungu. So loyal. The day that I realized to say by Edgar, by Edgar Chagalungu, me wants this. I went to him, I told him, can you pull back? And he accepted. Mundubil has been accepting all the time. Loyal to Nkuri Balungu. Loyal to Nkuri Balungu. He called me in the morning. Loyalty, no. Loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty finish. Loyalty finish. Wake up. Wake up. The people that you are saying loyalty, 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 they are not loyal to you. They are not loyal to you. They want to remove you as the leader of opposition. They want to remove you. They want to embarrass you. Eh? They want to embarrass you. 
I mean, I, I appreciate you have been very good, really. I really appreciate you have been very good to me. But I want to tell you the truth, Mdal. I just want to tell you the truth. This is me telling you the truth. Those people that you are being loyal to, they want to remove you. They want to embarrass you. And, he, and I, I don't know, somebody told me, it even came out, given Rubinda wanted to announce it. The last time when he, uh, because some, some of you, they had a meeting with PF, Katsinga Nipasha Nipada, but a few days ago. They had a meeting, and given Rubinda wanted to announce that. He wanted to announce that. But he saw the hostility of the MPs. He saw the hostility of the MPs, and that's how they changed their mind. Not, not that I'm saying we're given the window is whatever, whatever. No, 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 no. I have respect for we're given the window. Please. Vamdara, not, I have respect. I have respect for you. I have respect for you, we're given the window. I have respect for you. I have so much respect, trust me. But the point is that, you know, there are these machinations going on. These machinations going on. And the challenge which is there is that you just don't know where Edgar Chagalungu stands. This is the problem. You can't tell where Edgar Chagalungu stands. He's non-committal. He's one person that you will talk, 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 but non-committal. Non-committal. And that again frustrated me, seriously. Because you'd say, no, this, 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 let this happen, let this happen. I am Dara non -comito. A good example I can give you, the appointment of this uh, Nakachinda as Secretary General. This issue has been there from time in memorial. Appoint SG, appoint SG, appoint SG. Up to today, they don't have an SG. Why don't they have an SG? Because having an SG would have helped even with some of these agenda. But the Edgar Lungu has failed to move to appoint an SG. Why? So you, it's very difficult to really be sure where Edgar Lungu stands and what he will do next. You can't. You are gambling. It's like a, you know, a gambler who is holding his cards very close to his chest. You don't know which card is going to drop. And for me, I don't operate like that. I don't operate like that. Ah, no, no, I don't. If we say Friday we are doing this, it is that. Not Friday comes. You ambo kulanje wa story. Yoshani, Yoshani, Yoshani. Pali Nakachinda is a good example that I've given. And I'm say, talking about this. Even uh, I didn't. I didn't mention this. Kuri, 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 kuri in Tuan Kali. Kuri Brian Mundu. Because even Brian Mundu with it. Brian Mundubira was the, the content. He was, in, he was in front. He was in front. But the moment that Edgar Lungu came in, he, 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 stood by, he stood by the side. But with what is going on, you can even be left out. You can even be left out. So, the straightforwardness, you know, you know, so whilst all these things has been happening, whilst all these things have been happening, I have been facing a uh, court court charges. UPND has been coming hard on me. UPND has been coming hard on me. Of course, it's not a popular and whatever, whatever. But you know, this is a government system. They have been coming hard on me. And as they have been coming hard on me, I have not gotten the help that I should get. Looking at what I've been doing, let's face it, but I've been helping massively. I've been helping massively. I have kept things. I have brought things. I mean, I, I push a lot. But what help do I get really when I am in those problems? When I'm arrested, when I'm arrested twice, my wife had to borrow money twice. Twice, my wife had to borrow money. 
Yes, you come and see me more later, Brady. Aba mchifungo baria. Shana, shani. But at the end of the day, what about my wife when she's at home? Who, who is, who is, how is she surviving? We survive on hand to mouth, hand to mouth. Songa unchifungo, ni inshiyo de, wakushita bread itapadi. She had to borrow money twice. Twice. Nafuma. Bari wana wile fintu pano, kilikit, kilikit, get. My gate was not opening. My security, this house was completely open. It was difficult. Nadi mchifungo nafuma, I had to sort out things here. Not that they didn't know. I was telling them, please, na papata, help me with this. Please help me with this. No, we will see. No, we will see. No, we will see. No, we will see. I ended up borrowing money from Ethel. That Kayang girl from America, I borrowed 15,000 kwach to sort out the gate and fix the, uh, I mean, some of the, the things which were broken. Because I was completely open. Completely open. And it's not that people didn't know. They knew. I became so vulnerable to a point of, of soldiers coming here. And I didn't get that help. I didn't get that help. I went to borrow money. And to be honest, from the time that I borrowed money, I've never had a 15,000 kwacha for me to pay her. I haven't even had money for me to pay her. But next thing, we saw what, yeah, could you want to have 400,000 dollars? Honestly. I mean, let's just be real. Let's just be real. You think of it, mm, 400 penny, I want to marry Sunga, and yet Trechula. Really? I mean, let's be real, huh? let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Hmm? Somebody got stuck. Kaiza Zulu was inside there. The wife was struggling and whatever, whatever. When he got bond. Somehow money came out. I mean, what's that? What's that? So when you're pointing fingers at me, come on, think twice. Think twice. Think about yourselves, first of all. How have you treated Chirufatayali? How have you conducting your business? When Chirufatayali, now you're not sunka. And they were up, and they were up. Now you're sunka. Imamu haku chipata, bami pusha, at no. Inam not. And I want to know they come back. Ah, ah, what's happening? But did you hear what he said? Hey, we can SG. SG Takuri. Eh? Come on. And you think you can get power like that? You can't get power from Aka in the HM. You can't. So in a way, this is why now I have changed. I'm standing on my own. I'm talking like this, not for Aka in the HM, no. I'm not talking for Waka in the HDM. I'm not talking so that my cases can be can can be withdrawn. No. I'm just standing on my own. I've pushed agenda for people, and firstly, they don't act accordingly. They don't show me confidence. But Ed Galungu doesn't give me confidence that we can get power from Waka in the HDM. If he was Philadelphia Liwasa, Takutu Akwata Kareja Jatawe, let's go. Let's go. We will win. Eh? We will push it. We'll, but not by Edgar Lungu. No. No. And then, on top of that, not being so straight. Not being so straight. Because sometimes you could watch in research. You can fight, you fight, you fight, you fight. You get into power. By sa kushapo no kukushi. Unandela ndeko wako ikatano kukata wako longa na mchifungu. It is very possible. So, mm -mm. Ah, we. And besides, I'm, I'm becoming vulnerable. Vulnerable and highly exposed to these cases, Makoti, Shana, Shani. And really, the support that I've gotten is not the support I can rely on. I can't rely on this support. You know, when you have got good support, sometimes I can be in jail, but if I know that my family is being looked after properly, you know, some of us, I'm, I'm that kind of a person. I wouldn't mind going to jail if I know my family is okay. Ah, it's okay. Now I'm not going to jail. No, I'm going to pack up. I'm going to go to the Woodlands Police Station, and my wife is stuck. What about Bangkaka? 
And a good example, look at also Zumani Zimba. Look at Zumani Zimba. Eh? But Pai Kaiza Zulu, it was a bit different. Pai Kaiza Zulu, it was different. Why is it different? Why was it different, Pai Kaiza? Why not Pai Pari Nanka? So even me, I'm thinking, because you can't tell me that no, no, Mutawe Tempia. Look at me. I'm mobilizing, and the people have started meeting in different parts of the country. The other day I was in the office, and the people called me, no, we are meeting here, we have a meeting, we want Ishamenshi na transport. I didn't have money. In natural fertility, I didn't have money. I called somebody. I called somebody, please, help me with so much. Help me with a one five. Nika one five nine four. Help me with a one five. And somebody looked around and gave me a one five. If me, I can mobilize a one five. What about Valungu? Munenja Valungu to a flock in Stra organize a fifteen pin a cot na repeat a FL. Eh? Fifteen pin to a flock in Stra organize. To a flock in Stra organize. I mean, I still have a lot of issues that we need to sort out. To a flock in Stra organizer. I mean, can you tell me at your talk with them? Ah, when I went to Angala, Allah. To the angle. And I'm saying this not to expose Balungu. It's to help him. Because even me in an infumako, but not shala one to kuria. There are people who are around him. There are people who are around by Edgar Chagalungu. As long as those people are around by Edgar Lungu, he shouldn't be folding his arms like that. Like he is a he's more poorer than me. Uh uh. Ine, I'm not asking for anything. No. Ine, I'm, I've come back here to be suffering. Now, I'll continue suffering the way I've been suffering. But those people who are around you, never land Those people who are around you, never land Some of these people, they didn't make money. Some of them, yes, you appointed them. Avena Musuka, while you are minister, Bari Quator Pia, Nangutebu minister, Avena Musuka, Kareva Quatempia, Bari Quatempia, Navambi, Navambi, Bari Quatapempia. They made money. But those who didn't make money, those who are just poor like me, look after them, please. Look after them. You can't be neglecting people like that and when things go bad and you expect them to, to jump. You expect them to go with you, Kuma Police. You expect them to speak for you. Come on, no. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out like that. And you are the former head of state. You can't tell me. In an actual fact, next I organize one five. Now to me, I want to. I want to a meeting. What about you as a former head of state? No, let's just be real. Let's be real. So in, you can say whatever it is, but at least I say it as it is. Tem salula, te kuchita expose finchi, but just the way it is, balungu te tiwapoke power, kuri haka inde ichi de matet. So I'm standing on my own. And as I'm standing on my own, don't expect me to speak for you. Don't expect me to speak for you. Don't expect me to speak for anyone. No. And I will say things as they are. I will say things as they are. I will not favor you. When somebody is your friend, you know, you come out in a certain way. But when you are not friends, you just come out straight away. Like, Kesi Abamu Niazul. Mamunia Zulu vale for vale 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 miyama waka pa book pa pe book pa nani kani pa Facebook. Munia is my friend, but clearly even the way he's coming out himself, I mean that is not friendship. That is not friendship. So if there is no friendship, what do you expect me to say? When you were careless in talking, eh? You when you are careless, you are alarming the nation to say the president is going to dissolve parliament. At no, I was talking about uh, what about resign? Eh? Some people have been calling him to resign. There are two different things. When you say the president must resign, and when you say the president is coming to dissolve parliament, these are two different uh, scenarios. These are two. I can say it. Let President Akainde uh, uh, resign. I've said it before. But if I'm going to say he's going to, to, to stop government, he's going to dissolve government, I mean, that is a serious issue. That's a serious issue. That's a serious issue. At no, I was not saying that they should they should give me a call out. What were you saying? It is on video. It is on video. You said it. Why can't they send a call out to me? 
and you are want to make it like Baka Pokola, they have an obligation to send a, a call out. It's not a law to send a call out. And yes, the members of parliament, they, they protect the Jew on, on parliament grounds. But the fact is that if it is a criminal matter, they can arrest you from anywhere. A criminal matter, they can arrest you from anywhere. Even in parliament, they can arrest you if it is a criminal matter. Unless what you say within parliament, that is different. Not you commit a crime outside and then why are parliament? Parliament is not a, 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 a refuge for criminals. If you have committed a crime, no. No. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For me, the police were not wrong. And I'm not saying this because I'm... No, I'm, it is just what it is. The police can arrest you on parliament grounds. And what Munia said, it is wrong. It is alarming the nation. It is alarming the nation because you also encourage Munia Zulu to, to go, you know, astray. You, 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 you worship the young man, even when he has done something which is wrong. You come out and no, you know, hey, he's a courageous, he's courageous. No, courageous is not doing something wrong. No. When you are, when you are saying something that is responsible, that is not being courageous. Okay, if you are courageous, be ready to go to, be ready to go to police. Don't start running away and start making excuses. Ndi papa ya menti, tamachin to me na call out. Hmm? No, they wanted to abduct me, abduct me. Come on, let's face it. Baka pokola pick us, but at the end of the day, we know where they take us. This is Zambia. Even some of these ways, you thought they abduction, abduction, abduction. Tafichi tikam Zambia. Why do you want to create uh, things which are, which are not there? Abduction, abduction, abduction. Muzambia abduction. Bala kusenda kiri kiti kiri kiti bali musendele na nikani muamba uyo fast fast tuwa umfwa chali pana nikani pae masdeo eh baka mbuidi uyo tuwa umfwa uja na nikani stadi mwale kiri kiti kiri kiti alikuba umoro so come on mm. of course I mean the police should conduct themselves more professional more professional that's for sure but come on let us not uh, create laws for our convenience no let's not create laws for our convenience and Truth be told, what happened in in in, in it, it brings me to this issue of now Valungu attending Yama Cheichi and whatever, whatever. Come on, let's let's be realistic again. Let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Valungu is not going to those churches to pray. He's not going to pray. He's going there to campaign. He's going there for politics. This is politics. Let's be let's be honest, and that's what I what I can tell you is that be courageous. Be a feeling there and upon Okulanda Puif. Just be courageous. Come out in the campaign. I want to to contest twenty twenty six. Not for much more much age. It's not right, and we should just say it as it is. Eh? We should just say it as it is. Let us not pretend that you are going to change to pray. If we try to change, in end up change. I go to change every day. Every day I go to church. Every day I go to church. Have you ever seen me going with you? Do you see me doing that? I go to church quietly. I pray. Hmm? I even spoke to Banan Kane. I even spoke to my friend member today. He told me, oh no, I'm not church. Did you see my camera as my friend member? Shan, shan, shan. Did you see that? Because for me, you can say no, because you don't have members. But my friend member has got a lot of members. Do you see him going? We should stop this behavior, Muslim politicians, Muzambia. You should stop it. Stop Ukula of Yama Church. And I'm a papas. I'm a papas. I'm a reverend. You are also very political. You are corrupt. You don't call these people to come and pray. You call them so that that's why you call them. That's why you call them at Vesva Letom to Vesva Letefiakut, Vesva Letefiakut. Muleke, this behavior, Muleke. They can you come from a church for your, for, your, for your personal whatever, whatever. Stop using it. And you politicians, stop using Ama churches. And I'm saying this, I criticize it. Even during Haka in the HMO, he was also doing it. I criticize it. Why are you doing this? Eh? You are playing politics and then at the end of the day, you want to label others. No. In some of us, we are Christians. We don't stop us from praying. Do you even understand what it means to be Christian? Eh? 
You should even, you go and get baptized. Which church do you belong to? Because some of you, you don't even know which church you belong to. You don't even have a church where you belong to. And you want to claim to be more Christian than others. Like, can you come from a church? Stop using churches for your political expediency. Stop it. It is wrong. And you are only fooling yourselves and those other people, Zambians who are naive. Otherwise, we can see it. We can see it. Eh? You don't have the courage to come out. Have the courage. Yes, vale can a public order act, vale finish finish. Challenge them. We want to hold a meeting and talk politics. We want to have a meeting. We want to do this. I want to challenge people. Not to call them in a much age, more than in a much age. So this is me now, saying things as they are. I think now move. Let me open phone calls. You can call in. Power WhatsApp na papa. Power WhatsApp. Don't call direct. Call call power WhatsApp. Na imamulande kona randa sana dear. 